It is February 19th, and this morning I had a dentist appointment to fix the tooth that's over here, and I recorded some video from my car. So let's take a look at that. It is 11:19, and I just left Dr. Donovan's office. This chip tooth well like in between the teeth was a little chipped and uh, he said that he, it looked like there might have been a cavity or something that, that weakened the tooth anyway I just left the dentist's office and my appointment was at 10 30 so it actually feels pretty good now there was a little bit of jaggedness before I left and we were trying to figure out where it was but I kind of just went like that and I felt it break off and it was just some of the, the new filling good to go so I am going to drop some postage off at the uh, UPS store and then I'm going to meet Tia for lunch again. So. so that was part one and here is part two, hopefully. Strangest thing though, like I feel like I'm not like my tongue isn't numb. Usually my tongue ends up being numb, but I can, it, it feels very weird, like all the way up around here. And it's kind of making my head hurt. And, and it's only in this one little spot right here that it's, I mean, it's it's not numb. I mean, I can feel it. It's, it's numb if I actually knock my gum, but like everything else isn't numb. So I'm not like I, I normally am where like my whole face is drooping, whatever. Like, not a great whistle because I can't pucker really well, but but I'm not numb. It's weird. But yeah, it's making my, my eye hurt, like up here in my little socket. And it's probably because he shot it up, and it's kind of right here. But but dang, it's very like it almost feels like I'm having trouble blinking. Well, that was my commentary of my uh, surgery there. Um, that happened, uh, I got out of the dentist's office at about 11.20-ish. <sighs> now we'll find that later on, I was not so happy with my, my surgery. Anyway, I met Tia at around 12 o'clock for lunch. We went to, that was yesterday. We went to Chick-fil-A at the mall and uh, at this point, the numbness had worn off, um, and well, while I was eating French fries of all things, soft, not crunchy, um, and my sandwich, hmm, it it's kind of like the. It's whenever, like whenever the, the, the dentist person starts scraping teeth and accidentally nicks or touches the exposed, like receded gum lined part of my tooth. It wasn't that bad, but it was very uncomfortable. Like I, I was just like, <gasps> like I literally did that while I was sitting there. I was like, uh, that didn't feel right. And, uh. So I had to make sure I ate on that side of my mouth for the rest of the time. <sighs> After I took Tia back to work, I immediately called Dr. Donovan's office to um, let them know that I was having that issue. And he, um, he actually called me back and said, that's normal with that composite material. It's gonna be sensitive for a while because it's a little bit more abrasive, but the sensitivity will subside. However, I went home, um, and it, I'll tell you, it, it just kept getting worse. But again, I'll get back to that in a second. I went home and my dog was sleeping in the monitor room over here because it's thunderstorming out. 
Anyway, I cleaned the downstairs. I organized the kitchen, the decorative glasses and everything up on the shelf. Oh my goodness, I'm yawning. And I got a, uh, a collection of Goodwill stuff together. And I also thawed out the kegerator with the carbonated water in it because it kept cracking and clicking and and I think it was just the ice that was in there was was freezing and then thawing and then refreezing so I did that and dried it out and put it back in and let it go uh, apparently I am I have almost made it through that entire keg of the the first batch of my carbonated water so I like it Tia doesn't like it so I got some grape juice to see if that would work Anyway, 8.30 rolls around, and back to my tooth. At this point, my tooth is really hurting now. Um, and I actually took my fingernail, and I touched right where he put the filling on. And it hurts just in that spot. And I mean, if I stick my fingernail up into the grooves of my tooth there. But it's not like the tooth hurts. Like, I could do that. But actually touching it, it's very sensitive. It's weird. And obviously whenever I, I eat on it, um, it's just the pressure pushing up into the filling is really painful. What I'm hoping is that, because last time, this same tooth, last time I had the filling replaced, it took quite a few days to get that sensitivity to go away. And it was sort of the same thing, and they gave me a whole lot of antibiotics, and man, I really hope that's all this is. Because it's weird, like, I can bite down on my teeth. Cold and hot doesn't affect it, but touching it does. So, anyway, I called him back, and I said, it's really, really uncomfortable. Um, I know you said pain will subside, but... I'm just letting you know right now that this is how I feel. I mean, it's extremely painful and extremely uncomfortable and I really want to get this taken care of before we leave for vacation. So anyway, hopefully I will hear back from him. So nine o'clock rolls around and Tia finally got home from her Zumba at the church, her Tuesday night Zumba. And we watched some Disney videos, and she ate. I couldn't eat. Like, I don't want to eat anything. I don't want anything on that tooth. Um, then we went and we counted the vacation money. We confirmed that we still, um, we confirmed what we still owed on the annual pass. And it was something like 974 or something like that. Um, however... However, big however here. I was thinking that the amount of taxes that we needed to pay and we had already paid, it wasn't showing up right in my calculations. So I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to make sure, see how much we actually paid in taxes and whatnot. So I found a nice little calculator online that'll actually, and it, and it also actually had a, um, a description of how the math works. Because I had, you know, our total cost that we paid was, you know, nine seventy four. So I was like, well, let's see what the taxes are in that originally in the base amount. It was actually pretty neat. It actually showed me where, if six point five percent was the sales tax on the ticket, what was the original price? Pretty cool. Anyway, unfortunately, I also realized that I uh, happened to. Um, I happened to uh, do the math wrong. So I, and just by chance, I looked at it and I was like, well, I know that three ninety five forty five dollars is the price of each ticket with tax and with the park hopper added. Well, I also added an additional park hopper to that. So I did the total cost, and then I added park hopper because I had the two line items. <sighs> Whoops. So that basically added on 138 extra dollars that it looked like we had paid, but we hadn't. So 
we had actually only paid 790 and some change. So we actually still owe, instead of owing 974, which was more manageable, we actually owe 1113 and 31 cents. So that sucks. Mm -hmm. But what are you going to do? So I texted Tia and I said, what did I say? I texted Tia and I said, why does it keep refreshing the screen? It's ridiculous. Come on. Oh, good lord. Well, where is it? Oh, here it is. So I said, I made a calculation error. I realized it while trying to figure out the tax. Originally, I had added par copper cost on top of already totaled ticket cost. Please don't hate me. We need to come up with an additional $138.46. Because originally, I said $974.85. But now we owe $1,113.31. Um, with just what I have worked out so far this month, I should have enough to cover it. I just need my mother to pay me in a timely manner, which when I emailed my mother, she said she will do her best to get it to me through PayPal as fast as possible. So, yeah, that sucks. Crap, now we have to come up with $138.46. So hopefully Tia won't completely hate me when we, when she wakes up in the morning. But, until then, let's fade to black. 